to those that were looking forward to the daily vlog, I have to apologize. I actually had to take a few days off, um, and you're kind of getting it all now. I had to take a ride up north and take care of some business and stuff like that. So, first stop on the trip up there is Cabela's. That's a lot of fishing rods. That's some long grass. Grass is nice and cut. Made a little eBay sale. Gotta ship it out, whether I'm at home or not. Well guys, I gotta admit, yesterday I fell asleep early and did not catch uh, most of the Phillies game, so uh, phone's not working right now internet-wise due to uh, no service, so old school library is how I'm gonna check out and see how the Phillies did. Well, I'm about to do some weed whacking, which is nothing too exciting, but uh, earlier today, when I was out at the library and post office and stuff like that, I uh, also stopped to grab a pizza at the uh, local pizza place up here and had uh, access to, uh, to the internet through my phone and hopped on Twitter to see if any anything newsworthy happened and learned that Alec Asher, a uh, Phillies pitcher who's been in AAA this year, uh, was suspended 80 games for PED violation. So I don't know what's wrong with these guys. Asher was acquired as part of the Cole Hamels trade last year. He got called up in September and was brutal. He, he was terrible. He got absolutely bombed in virtually every start. But he seemed to have turned things around. Pitched all right in spring training. Pitched, was pitching amazing in AAA. But uh, then he went down with an injury, and now he's out for the next 80 games due to uh, PED violation. We've got a special guest star here today. This is Riley. Some of you have met him before if you're... Uh, Long-time subscriber, you, uh, you've you seen his little little own show he made with uh, the GoPro. Showed up a few times. I will uh, link that down below in this edition. He's uh, getting a little annoyed because he wants his treat. Hey, Riley. Uh-oh. Who knows what he spot. Riley, come here. Riley! There we go. There you go. Oh, comment below. Let Riley know what you think of his uh, guest appearance. Not much better in life than listening to some tunes while watching the sunset. Just caught last night's Philly score. Looks like they ended up losing 13-2 to to Toronto, so that'll wrap up the season series there. Lost 3 out of 4. No surprise. Honestly, like I said a few days ago, Kind of surprised they even won that one. And the fact that they won that one 7 nothing was uh, pretty awesome. So, oh well. Uh, now they will be playing Arizona. So the Diamondbacks should be able to find a way to maybe win a couple of those. But we'll see. Uh, obviously the Diamondbacks have a lot of talent as well. Shout out Daniel Wilson, Diamondbacks fan. Time to head back south. But real quick before I left, I want to get your guys' thoughts on my Mike Trout picture, which I took... Uh, Three, four years ago, not a great view with the glare from the windows. I'll post a, uh, a non-printed version. Back in Bucks County, and uh, I fully expected to get a TTM over the last two days, Wednesday, Thursday. I guess I was counting today, Friday. Um, as a day that the mail would come and nothing completely shut out got one envelope in from uh, Steel City collectibles. It's a uh, I think it's part of a break. I did for uh, maybe tier one Nola auto that came in Wednesday or Thursday number 236 out of 299 Here's Friday's mail. No TTMs. Let's see what they are. All right mail was opened First one was from Steel City collectibles another Aaron Nola autograph Signed a little nicer than the other one. Really nice signature there. Signed in blue. Number 107 of 299. Also got a Steve Carlton jersey swatch. That's numbered out of 75. 
The second one is an order from Amazon, and it is Creed. Really great movie. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. If you have, comment below. Let me know what you think of it. I thought it was outstanding. I really enjoyed it. And, you know, it's like a lot of uh, things nowadays, a lot of series. Uh, it's a reboot, yet takes place. It's not a full reboot. It's, uh, it's a sequel, but reboot it for a new character and new characters for a new generation. Uh, attention, you know. Those involved in Ghostbusters remake, you know, you could have learned your lesson from this and so many other series and movies and given fans what they want, but no, you'd rather just have false information and try and spin it as if people are sexist. But you know. Some multitasking right now, watching the Phils and Diamondbacks. Phils with a 2 nothing lead. By the way, if you guys see a uh, highlight for today's game, Cameron Rupp had a two-run, I guess it was a triple. Um, you guys should watch that highlight. He came as close as possible to hitting a three-run homer. The ball literally hit the very top of the railing and bounced back into play. Unbelievable. Um, so right now I'm just checking out this game, catching up on YouTube videos. And I'm watching uh, Adrian Gonzalez fans 23 and all you guys who uh, make videos out there. I'll be checking out your videos from the last couple days as well. And uh, just kind of catching up on email and getting ready to pay some bills and all that exciting stuff you miss just in a few days. Struggles continue. We're heading to the seventh inning. They are down 7-2 to Arizona. They're just not getting it done. Uh, Pitching-wise, obviously, you give up seven runs. That's an issue. Adam Morgan's had his struggles this year, the bullpen as well. But now the defense is playing lousy. They have three errors tonight, so... Obviously, when you have a pitcher struggling a little bit, it's going to hurt them when the defense can't make plays. And offensively, they've only scored two runs. And, I mean, their offense is their offense. So uh, they just had the bases loaded with two outs. Tyler Goodell struck out, unfortunately, um, to leave those three guys on base. So they're down 7-2. to two. Uh, I'm not going to call it yet because we have a few more innings. So I'll check back when it's over, but uh, officially over. But... The Phillies are just, they're in a rough patch now. I think they've only won four of their last 20 games, so it's been... Yikes. Paul Goldschmidt homered, by the way. That's six home runs for the Arizona Diamondbacks tonight. That's, um, that's a lot. And I believe Toronto hit five yesterday, so, uh, Phillies pitching staff just isn't getting it done. Phil's lost that one 10-2. I'm going to wrap things up now and get back to editing some videos so I can bring you more content on Myco Videos, the Myco Baseball Vlog, and Myco, have a great one.